If we are to believe self-serving rodeo propaganda, a cowboy and his horse are an inseparable team, and the cowboy would give his life for his horse. Watch this next scene for yourself and decide if this is true in the world of rodeo. Four Pierre, South Dakota. Let's see what he can do right here. Trying to get him set. So let's go. No, really. You're supposed to use that? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for whistling, Greg. We'll see what our judges say. Kyle Kalen, he went for us. Come on back, young lady Casey Thompson Crawford, Mississippi. 17 to 85. Look at this. You want to talk about consistency, Tim? She ran a 17. She ran a 17 to 85 in the first go. She runs a 17 to 85 in the second go. Well, ladies and gentlemen, your Carhartt Bullfighter, your Dodge Tough pickup man. I'll check on that pickup horse, make sure it is all right. Put your hands together right now if you would please. Wait a minute. Did you see that Dodge Tough pickup man completely abandon his horse? There was absolutely no reason to rope the bull, who was already headed toward the exit gate. The Dodge Tough pickup man was very arrogant and foolish to antagonize an animal that simply wanted to leave. The helpless horse took a broadside hit and was lifted completely into the air by the bull's left horn. It's a miracle that the horse wasn't eviscerated on the spot. The horse came crashing down on his own neck and head and it's another miracle that he didn't break his neck. Then things really got nuts. While the bull was goring the helpless horse, the Carhartt bullfighter moved in. His big plan was to smack the gored horse in the face with his hat. As for the Dodge Tough pickup man, the cowboy who would do supposedly anything for his horse, he kicked away from his fallen steed and headed for the hills. Fortunately, the bull abandoned his attack on the horse. The horse got up, but he was injured, punctured in his right flank and perhaps elsewhere. There's no telling what internal injuries the horse may have sustained. As the horse headed for safer territory, we see that his unfaithful rider, finding no hills to hide in, instead climbed the nearest fence. It took 25 seconds after the bull ceased his attack before the rider returned to his injured steed. Meanwhile, the announcer assured everyone that the horse would be checked out and encouraged the crowd to, quote, put your hands together, please. Put your hands together for what? For the not-so-tough Dodge pickup man who started trouble with a bull who simply wanted to leave? For the abandonment of the horse by the same cowboy? For the Carhartt bullfighter who adds insult to injury by smacking the horse in the face as he's being gored? For the cruelty and stupidity of rodeo? What in God's name is anyone supposed to be clapping for? Shark investigators say they didn't see that horse again for the rest of the rodeo, and they never heard the rodeo announcers say anything about the horse's condition. That's not a good sign. But that's the way it works in the world of rodeo. So what was learned by the young people at this National High School Rodeo Finals, other than the obvious? Arrogance. Incompetence. Cowardice. Disloyalty and animal abuse. As far as we can tell, nothing good whatsoever.